Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Eon Network. Now, you may have seen me. I'm a little perplexed after what I read and after what I learned. Now, I know a lot of you, the great fans, are going to be tuning in for the Killer Clowns. You guys might be expecting for an update dealing with the Killer Clowns. We're going to continue to do that as the days progress. But today, it's going to be quite different because we actually have learned about a very, very sinister internet personality by the name of smart schoolboy nine and i'll tell you one thing this has been probably one of the most disturbing stories i have ever read online and for all of you watching please make sure viewer discretion is advised because what you're about to see is very much bizarre and downright frightening and i don't think anybody really wants to be watching this at nighttime well, this came to our attention earlier today, and I understand that, yes, we do host Killer Clown Reports. However, this video kind of fits the theme because it's very unsettling. It's very bizarre, just like the Killer Clowns. But when it comes to Smart School Boy 9, my goodness, folks, I cannot believe what I've read. I cannot believe what I've seen, and I cannot believe that this is legitimately happening as we speak. Uh, so Smart School Boy 9, um, he, he is an Internet figure from what I understand if you even want to call him that. And there is so much controversy surrounding this guy because he actually, from what I understand, he actually had multiple different accounts on Instagram. Now, these multiple accounts would be different personalities, different characters of kids. Uh, you know, some of them would be 12-year-olds, and some of them would actually be 13-year-olds as well. So he had multiple, multiple accounts that would, that would be him, technically, as 13-year-old kids or 12-year-old kids, whatever. And these accounts featured unsettling edited images in real photos of children focusing on themes of, uh, of mini boots and school uniforms. It is absolutely disgusting. One of the most disturbing things I've seen on YouTube. Anyways, uh, we also have been told that the content was traced to a user believed to be a 59-year-old man by the name of David Alter. Now... Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a post here that was just posted days ago, and it's coming from a username by the name of Smashing Time, and it says, quote, This is genuinely not a lie. I swear I know this person. I'm originally from Doncaster, and during my teens, early 20s, there I would occasionally see what me and my friends called Clown Monkey Man. He would walk around the city center dressed exactly like this, always with a satchel slash briefcase and a suit, caked in makeup, as in this video and act what can only be described as childish, like a caricature of a little boy. If he saw you look at him, he would blow raspberries and other weird noises. He was allegedly driven out of Doncaster for being a, you know what. He had printed out photos on his walls of blank adults, but with children's faces stuck over them. Every single thing matches up. I am adamant it's him. This is where it gets pretty interesting. So, a lot of people over the past 24 hours, according to what I've seen online, have been stating that he has been arrested. However, there is no confirmation, there's no source that can confirm this, but we can say that his accounts, uh, the Smart Schoolboy 9 account, and, and all of those accounts associated with him have been removed. I don't know if this is him deleting them, or more likely it was Instagram and whichever, uh, which whoever else was able to delete these accounts. Thank goodness. Uh, but I mean, it, it's just, it's really, really, it's just so unsettling. It really is because who, what really is this all about for this guy? This guy is 59 years old allegedly, and he's calling out, but get this, he's calling out other child predators so you would think okay that's a good thing right the thing is though he's calling out other child predators for pretending to be kids online to attract kids he, he's doing that and yet that's exactly what he's doing he's the one that is pretending to be kids trying to attract kids to talk to them and then there's videos upon videos where he's he's talking about uh, disturbing things. Uh, he, he has himself running. He's actually apparently chasing a kid from what I saw. Not just that, but also he's doing some sort of weird, sickening movement with his mouth in which, obviously, we'll go ahead and play that right now. I mean, what is that? Seriously, what 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 is that? That is disturbing, folks. And we know one thing for sure, that the police were, were informed about this, the authorities are currently investigating this issue, uh, the accounts have since disappeared, we don't know any more updates concerning the user behind it, but we just have to ask ourselves though, is there something more sinister behind this? Because a lot of people might be thinking that this is just age play, which is still pretty weird, but I truly think that this is a lot more serious than one might think, because there is a post 
that was talking about how this guy, this this smart schoolboy nine guy, was talking about all these different things when it comes to kids and so forth. And and, and it's just I'm I'm trying to keep this lighthearted. Uh, but some of the stuff that you'll read online when it comes to this guy probably it would make you uh, it, it would make you probably want to throw up because you kind of sit back and go, there's a human being on this earth, literally on this earth right now that is sick in the mind that is doing this. He's making videos of himself again in school uniforms. He has videos and, and, and photos of edits of kids that are edited. And it's just, it's so creepy. And you get to see the faces of each kid. And apparently it's edited to his own style, his own face. Perhaps maybe it's just, I don't know if it's a mask. Um, but whatever the case, this guy obviously is a controversial figure as we speak. Now, a lot of the YouTubers out there are covering this story and it's basically them talking about how he has associated with other accounts out there and those same accounts is basically him despite the fact that each account is a different character a 12 year old a 13 year old and some of these accounts are are claiming to go to school and then he he makes videos upon him just going outside and he's carrying a lunchbox or something like that and it's it's just like i said it's very unsettling you're gonna have to watch the videos as you can see on screen some of the videos right now but i mean there's a lot more out there i'm sure but the media attention that it got really in the last week i mean there has been further exposure um in the last couple of days because there's a lot of videos now that are beginning to spread about this guy and again there is an ongoing investigation despite the media frenzy the the investigation into smart school boy nine uh, continues, uh, but there's so many questions that are still unanswered because what is he all about? Why is he doing this? What is it about this guy that he has some sort of obsession when it comes to kids and not only an obsession with kids, but an obsession with kids wearing mini boots and dressed up in school clothing? I mean, can you imagine this guy? Imagine seeing this guy in the streets. Seriously, imagine or imagine waking up one day and you see that right in front of you. I mean, uh, again, folks, uh, listen. There is so much going on. We understand the Killer Clowns. That's a separate uh, project. That's a separate title that we're going to go ahead and talk about pretty soon uh, in the next video. But I just wanted to kind of turn the focus and attention to this because I have no idea what the hell this is, if anything. And I truly think that eventually we're going to get more answers um, but it's just, again, there are so many questions and little answers at the moment that, again, the authorities are, at least I hope, the authorities are going to get some answers and it's uh, going to be released to the public. I just hope that this is going to be a good ending. I hope they can get this guy, they can actually arrest this guy and get some more answers because who in the world knows what if he has done, what if he actually has done things to kids and it never was reported on? What if he actually has harmed kids before? Again, there was a video of him allegedly chasing a kid around. This man is sick. He needs to be brought to justice. Somebody needs to find out exactly what this is all about and who he truly is. Not just his real name, but what, what he actually is. What's his background and why is he doing this? Again, hopefully as the information comes out over the next couple of weeks, we're going to get that those uh, questions answered. But folks, I don't know what else to say. This is just beyond to me. Hey, this is just beyond me. Well, listen, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Again, we're going to follow this story as well over the next few weeks as we're going to also continue the Killer Clown stories. Killer Clowns are still kind of... Um, it hasn't been truly confirmed that they're back, but we're starting to understand that there might be signs out there that they may be returning and they are among us for sure. We're going to talk about that in the next video, but concerning this one, the Smart Schoolboy 9, honestly, who is this guy? Why is he doing it? And just what is it about his... What is it about his themes that actually really makes him wake up every morning and actually make these videos? Well, one thing's for sure. We don't know all these answers, but there's one answer we do know. This smart schoolboy nine is a sick man, and he's done a lot of damage mentally. I can assure you that. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you in the next video.